All right, I know so many parents are waiting with bated breath, wondering what is happening with this weather tomorrow night for Halloween. <laughs> and we'll just keep waiting. Yeah, just keep waiting. I, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Yeah, I, don't I know. Blame you. Last week, we were looking at the forecast changing and knew that some rain was on the way. Unfortunately, it's going to be here in time for a trick or treat time. Uh, tonight, Dallas Sky Cam, we're taking a look at Reunion Tower. Green and orange going on. Kind of a spooky scene underneath the colors that you can't see. Winds out of the north, northeast, near about 14 miles per hour holding on. We have 58 in Addison to 60 in Duncanville and 58 in Mesquite. The satellite and radar combined right now. Not a lot of cloud cover showing up. I had to tilt the picture, look out to the west. Clouds are already pushing their way into the west sides of the state. Near Midland, also stretching up to near Lubbock. Amarillo already seeing the cloud cover pushing eastward. And that will continue to increase overnight tonight and into the morning hours. Temperatures right now across the Metroplex, sitting in the mid-50s in Keller and Weatherford to 59 in Garland and 59 in Benbrook. The wide view right now across North Texas shows 51 to Graham along with Gainesville to 61 in downtown Dallas. So cool air settling its way on in after the cold front passed through earlier this evening. And that front pushed its way on through and behind it are winds out of the north near about 15 to almost 20 miles per hour in a couple of spots, at least gusting up that high. So through the remainder of the night tonight, cool temperatures down into the mid to almost the low 40s in a couple of spots and breezy conditions by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. So about 47 for parts of the Metroplex tomorrow morning and then 43 up near Sherman to 42 in Gainesville. Then tomorrow you see the cloud cover starting to increase. Temperatures do not warm up much. We get up to maybe 57, maybe 58 in some spots, but here comes the rain 2 to 3 o'clock into the afternoon. That rain will then continue to push its way eastward by 5 to 6. Still seeing some rain sticking around and temperatures in the mid 50s to even the low 50s in a couple of spots. 12 hour forecast tomorrow. Starting at 6 o'clock, 47 degrees up to about 58. Rain chances sitting right around 60%, holding there through 6 p.m. Rain chances is still at 60%, 53 degrees with a northeast wind near about 10 to 15. So here is that trick or treat forecast. You don't have to hold your breath anymore. It's not great. Temperatures mid to the low 50. So not only is it going to be cool and breezy, we have the rain on top of that. Rain chances starting at 60% right around 4 to 5 o'clock, holding at 50% through 7 and then by about 9. Rain chances right around 30% and then tapering off and holding off and on through the night. So going into Wednesday morning, still some rain around. Unfortunately, though, we have that upper level lift that's going to work its way off towards the west and make its way east and get here just in time for some of the trick or treaters that are going to be heading on out there. Rain chances are around 60% rain amounts, maybe a tenth of an inch to a tenth of an inch. Then we warm back up to 78 by Thursday, 89. There's the sun shining. I know. Everyone's going, really? And then Saturday, Sunday, partly cloudy and mostly sunny skies. Temps in the mid to the upper 80s. Don't forget, change the batteries in the smoke detectors as you turn those clocks back and gain some sleep. Well, we don't want you to be wrong, but we hope that it comes just a little later than you're talking about. Really? Right now. Yeah, sorry. Really? Just Fine. Saying. Just asked him to be wrong. No, I didn't. I, well, okay. All right, let's talk about changing the date for trick or treaters. I'll second that emotion, by the way. <laughs>